Do you believe everything you see? Well, maybe you shouldn't because this is not Morgan Freeman, nor is this Elon Musk or Joe Rogan promoting these companies. Imagine waking up to a video of yourself saying things you've never said, or seeing Elon Musk promote a company that scams people, all thanks to deepfake technology. This isn't a far off dystopian future, this is today. A world where your face and voice can become the tool of blackmail. Join us as we pull back the curtain on the billion dollar war against digital deception, uncovering chilling incidents like the Joe Rogan and Elon Musk deepfake scams. This is a war that doesn't just threaten public figures, but each one of you. To understand the deepfake war, we need to start from the beginning. The advent of deepfake technology began its journey in the early 2010s, with groundbreaking AI research enabling hyper-realistic manipulation of images and videos. It was the development of generative adversarial networks by Ian Goodfellow and his colleagues in 2014 that truly propelled this technology into the limelight. By 2017, deepfakes had captured the attention of the public, celebrities, politicians, and corporations alike. A significant turning point was the appearance of deepfake videos on Reddit, which spurred widespread fascination and concern. Initially, deepfakes were celebrated as a novel tool for artists and filmmakers, opening doors for creativity previously unimaginable. However, the technology's darker side emerged in tandem with its rapid rise in accessibility. The democratization of tools, such as Fake App in 2018, transformed deepfakes from an artistic curiosity into a formidable challenge for truth. With further advancements, deepfakes have transcended mere entertainment to become weapons for deceit, forging political speeches, manipulating corporate announcements, and igniting a global debate on authenticity and trust. But what many don't realize is the extent to which deepfakes could invade your own life, igniting a billion dollar battle to combat digital deception. Imagine your own face being used without consent, your own voice being twisted to say vulgar things you never spoke, or celebrities being manipulated to influence society by some kid in his mom's basement running a deepfake scam. One of the most chilling and realistic instances of deepfake technology came to light when a video surfaced of the esteemed actor Morgan Freeman articulating profound questions about our perception of reality. Except it wasn't Morgan Freeman at all. The video, created by Dutch deepfake YouTube channel Deep Nep, credits the concept to Bob De Jong and voice acting to Boat Skoink. As Daniel Piper reported on December 19th, 2022, this deepfake image of Morgan Freeman was so convincing that it left Twitter terrified sparking widespread debates about the technology's potential misuse. With over 6.5 million views, the video provoked concerns such as, how can this tech not be deployed in the 2024 election? This not only showcases the advanced stage of deepfake technology, but also highlights the collective anxiety surrounding its implications. People are seriously worried about how such believable deceptions could be used for nefarious means, as the technology evolves from mere amusement to a tool that may reshape our very understanding of truth and reality. If you thought the Morgan Freeman deepfake was bone chilling, the next incidents are even more eye-opening. In an era when technology enables reality to be twisted, who can you trust? A bizarre incident involving the tech magnate Elon Musk puts this very question under the spotlight. In 2018, a heartbreaking tragedy occurred. Apple engineer Walter Huang died in a fatal crash while driving a Tesla Model X. A debate ignited over the capabilities and safety of Tesla's autopilot software and Musk himself was thrown into the heart of a lawsuit. Lawyers for Tesla shockingly argued that Musk's statements about the autopilot software couldn't be trusted as they could be deepfakes, according to reports from Reuters and Bloomberg. This reasoning was part of Tesla's defense, seeking to avoid Musk's interview under oath for the lawsuit that blamed the company for Huang's death. The statements in question include Musk's bold claim in 2016 that Tesla's Model S and Model X could drive autonomously with more safety than a human driver. Yet, Tesla's lawyers have claimed that Musk can't recall the details of such statements. They pointed to the prevalence of deepfake videos and recordings that depict Musk saying or doing things he never actually did. This alarming argument was met with a firm response from Santa Clara County Superior Court Judge Yvette D. Pennypacker, who labeled Tesla's position as deeply troubling. She wrote, Their position is that because Mr. Musk is famous and might be more of a target for deepfakes, his public statements are immune. In other words, Mr. Musk, and others in his position, can simply say whatever they like in the public domain, then hide behind the potential for their recorded statements being a deep fake to avoid taking ownership of what they did actually say and do. Judge Penny Packer tentatively ordered Elon to give a limited three-hour deposition about these statements. The hearing is scheduled for Thursday, and the lawsuit will head into trial on July 31st. The implications of this incident are profound and chilling. 
Can we ever trust public statements from influential figures when the shadow of deepfake technology looms large? It's a question that echoes far beyond the courtroom and even into the world of digital marketing. Recently, an advertisement circulated on TikTok depicting Joe Rogan, host of the world-popular Joe Rogan Experience podcast, promoting a libido supplement for men called Alpha Grind. However, the words and facial movements in the ad were generated by artificial intelligence. The AI-rendered ad featured actual footage from an episode with Stanford Medicine neurobiology professor Andrew Huberman, but the AI-produced voice of Rogan offered an endorsement that never happened. While some viewers recognized the fake dialogue, others were convinced by the ad's authenticity. The ad was traced back to a TikTok user, and upon discovery, TikTok removed the account for violating its harmful misinformation policy. This incident throws a spotlight on the increasing capabilities of deepfake technology and the ease with which it can be used to deceive. By now, your mind probably feels like chaos. But it's not entirely your fault, because the psychological effects of deepfakes are very real. Our minds are hardwired to trust visual and auditory stimuli. They're the primary channels through which we interpret reality. However, deepfakes directly challenge this instinctive trust. By capitalizing on our sensory biases, deepfakes manipulate our beliefs and emotions in several profound ways. Number one, the illusion of reality. Deepfakes are so convincingly crafted that they mimic reality. Since our brains inherently trust visual information, deepfakes seize this trust, presenting falsehoods as truths. For instance, the Alpha Grind Joe Rogan deepfake advertisement fooled many of his fans into thinking he was endorsing the product, revealing how our instinctive trust in visuals can be deceived. Number two, emotional engagement. Deepfakes can evoke powerful emotions by imitating the expressions and voices of loved ones or public figures. Imagine seeing a video of a deceased family member speaking to you once again. The emotional response would be intense, blurring the line between reality and deception. Number three, cognitive dissonance. Deepfakes can also create a mental struggle, leading to confusion and uncertainty. If you saw a video of yourself uttering words you've never spoken, you would experience cognitive dissonance, which is a conflict between the visual evidence and your personal truth. Number four, social influence and manipulation. Beyond personal impact, deepfakes can shape public opinion. A forged video of a country's leader endorsing a controversial policy could sway public sentiment, leveraging our tendency to conform to authoritative figures. And number five, the fight for identity. The cloning of voices and faces through deepfakes can lead to identity theft and personal violations. Deepfakes exploit human psychology on multiple fronts, from the individual's inherent trust in visual reality to the societal impact of manipulated public opinion. Whether provoking emotions, confusing our sense of self, or shaping societal views, the manipulation by deepfakes poses serious psychological challenges and ethical dilemmas. By understanding these aspects, we can better navigate a world increasingly blurred by artificial illusions. The deepfake war is not a distant future or a Hollywood fantasy. It's a present reality that demands our vigilance. It's not just about technology, but the integrity of our relationships, trust in each other, and the very fabric of our personal lives. Because the future of truth is not just in the hands of tech giants and governments, it's also in ours. Let's ensure that our faces, voices, and identities remain our own. Subscribe to Business Loop to stay on the cutting edge of tech, business, and world events.